What is cooking chicken? Kicking chicken. Oh, I don't know. It's a hard question to answer when somebody says, what's kicking chicken? They just don't know what to say. What is the proper response to what's kicking chicken? No proper. Just a smile, really. It's a day brightener. What's kicking chicken? Just like this light. Anyway. No, you're blinded by the light. You guys should be used to it, though, when you're on, when you're up on stage, you know? Aren't you used to it? Yeah, but it, it's kind of like we black out anyway. It's just uh, so our blacking out from being so nervous uh, kind of neutralizes the bright lights in our face. <laughs> no, seriously, do you actually ever get nervous when you're totally. up on stage still? Yeah. yeah. I think I think every day between the four of us, we have this level of, of nervousness that just is like I'm nervous now. That's that should explain it. <laughs> Over to Danny. <laughs> Woo! It's like it's like the first like the first three seconds you go on stage, you kind of got like the little butterflies, uh -huh. and then once the song or kicks in or people start cheering, then you're just like back and they're like, all right, I got this, you know. Yeah. I would like to add that mine are not only butterflies; these are like huge, uh, human-eating dragonflies that are in my stomach. I thought they were vultures, actually. Yes, they are vultures. I'd change it right now. Edit. All right, what are you guys performing in there tonight? How, and how did you get involved with Do Something? We got involved with Do Something because we thought it was a, uh, a good start to, to the school year for kids and, uh, and especially like, you know, people having the necessity uh, or the necessary supplies that, that you need to, to learn and to get through school and to do your homework and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we just thought it would be a good idea for us to make it easier for all of the kids who, you know, need that stuff. So we are here performing uh, an acoustic set. Um, for kind of everybody and for the cause, and I think it's a, I think it's a cool thing to mix music with a good charity. Yeah. They called us and they said, hey, do you guys want to do something? And we said, said uh, I would love to uh, do actually, something. Actually, yes, I would love to do something. <laughs> and so then we later found out that it was, you know, school supplies for kids for the school year, and we're like, that's even better. Couldn't ask for a better package. So here we are. Now I want each of you to tell me your favorite part about going back to school back in the day. Oh my God. Going back to oh, school? Yeah, you gotta jump right in. I gotta go first. Okay, it was the bright white shoes that everyone had. The first day of school, <laughs> it was the end where sunglasses. Because, yeah, it was the white, white shoes that I everyone had. No scuffs, fresh laces. I'm not gonna I lie, mine was like to pick out the what outfit like that my mom like, you know, bought clothes for me. It was yeah. like, what was I gonna wear? Because I wanna look cool the first day. Wait, we have an exclusive. Hunter actually has uh, an example of these white bright, shoes. White sneakers. Picture your first day of school. Here are the big white, sh the bright white White shoes. Mine are more like the last day of school, <laughs> and uh, Hunter's would be the first day of school. And these are like mid-season, uh, mid-school year, right? Yeah. Well, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I I agree with Hunter. I used to like set out every one of my clothes on my bed. Like I would put the boxers or underwear or whatever inside my jeans, put the belt through the oh, loops, wow. tuck my shirt into the the fake person laying on my bed, like hat, everything. <laughs> what it shoes with the socks inside the shoes. It looks so creepy. And I realized that it was just that was that was my favorite part about the first day of school. We've got a closet stylista over here, and I gotta ask, what was your favorite part about going back to school? I was a total nerd. I was all about like I can't wait to see the syllabus. I can't wait to meet my teachers and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's 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 the God's honest truth. <laughs> How does music relate back to back to school time? You get to share with your friends like what you heard over summer. Like sometimes you went and saw a show, or you found out about a new band or something like that, and you get to just go tell all your friends about it. And it's um, the beauty of school is that the reason we're standing right here is because our fans have helped spread the word about We the Kings to their friends, and now we have a lot of people coming to our show. And and hopefully this year, you will spread the word of We the Kings Where to your friends. Take wings. <laughs> you guys are really good with your words. I think you all studied really hard in school, so are you, good for you. Are you making fun of me because I said nervousnessness? Because I didn't even notice, man. Maybe we edited that part out. Edited it. See? You messed me up now. No, <laughs> oh, I didn't. All right, I'm back in it. One last thing. What do you use in your hair? Can I can I touch this? Uh, uh, this. So Hunter nice. massages my scalp yeah. on a daily basis. Uh, it's big, sexy hair. That's yeah. the, the hairspray. Uh -huh. Big, sexy hair. <laughs> Red, red, red bottle, a red can, yes. red canister. Red can for the nice. red hair. Yeah, nice. makes it go everywhere. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. So Good much. to see you. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Have fun in there. We Thank you very much. We're gonna go catch it yeah. later. Yeah.